In a previous video, we talked about male habits that uh, really annoy women. So now I'm going to talk about, comment really, on um, female habits that annoy men. I read a lot of articles on the internet on uh, this subject and I noted down uh, quite a few female habits that annoy men. Shall we? Her habit of asking his opinion on how she looks every time she wears a new dress or while going out with him on a date. Yeah, I would say that's true. With us women, uh, usually you can never win. I mean that uh, if you say that we look very nice, we won't believe you because uh, maybe we're too insecure. If you say that we don't look nice or that we look okay, of course, we would not like it because nobody wants to hear that they're just okay or that they don't look good. On to the second one. When a woman refuses to give any suggestion when she's asked for one, such as for ordering a dessert or picking a film, but doesn't hesitate to criticize a man if the dessert turns out to be bad. Hmm. Um, that happens, but it's not as often as one might think that it is. I think nowadays women do make a decision about which uh, movie to watch or where to go. So I wouldn't agree with that. It's damn annoying when women stay quiet and deny anything's wrong when they're pissed off. Yes, I would say that uh, this, is, this is correct. I can uh, relate to that. And it is very annoying when uh, you ask uh, somebody, anybody for that matter, how are you? And they just say, I'm fine. Are you sure you're fine? Yeah. Yeah. I'm fine. Would you like to tell me what's the matter with you? I told you that there's nothing wrong with me. I'm fine. Well, girls, we're obviously not fine. We do this a lot, but uh, frankly, why have someone guessing what's wrong with us when we can just say it and discuss about it, figure it out and find a solution potentially? Women tend to be or act suspicious about their partner's actions. It could be for something as simple as a night out with friends or a meeting with a female colleague. This is a gray area, in my opinion. This is something very vague this is something that's not clear at all while i think that there are a lot of people that are actually loyal and uh, sincere and uh, wouldn't do anything intentional to hurt you there are others that do the opposite being uh, suspicious beforehand when uh, you don't have real indication that something is wrong is something that I don't do. I mean that I don't worry, let's say, if I don't see any real evidence about it or uh, indications. I think we should be cautious. Either way, does it make any sense? <laughs> This year, making an anniversary out of everything, like the first date, the first kiss, and of course, making an issue when a uh, man forgets about these days. I agree oh, with that. Yeah. Men are right. Why do we need to just make an anniversary out of everything and anything? The real joy is just being with one another, just being with the person that loves you and that you love. Why do we need constant reminders? So I, I would give that to men. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I think it's very annoying too. Bitching about how much time he spends with his friends. Yes and no. How much time is too much time? If uh, my significant other spends more time with his friends than with me, then I guess, yes, Houston, we have a problem. But uh, I think it's very natural that you spend time with your friends. It's refreshing both for you and your partner. 
it's refreshing for the relationship. That doesn't mean that uh, you get to be with your friends all the time. Yeah, bitching about time spent with friends, unless it's something that it's really, really excessive. No, I don't do that. So if he's spending enough time with me, I don't mind that he spent time with his friends. And I can spend time with my friends as well. So that's great, right? <laughs> this is funny. Too many selfies. Some guys love taking pictures together, but some guys don't. So here it's just like an advice, let's say. Try to limit the number of selfies you take with your guy to a couple a week if you can resist taking them and he's less than interested in participating. I agree that the selfies are annoying, especially when you force someone, your significant other especially, to join you in a selfie. Why? He or she might agree to take a selfie with you, okay? But how many selfies? Why do we have to keep taking pictures of us to show the world that we love each other? that we like each other, that we're in love, that we're having a great time. Why? I agree. Too many selfies. Thinking that men should carry all the baggage slash luggage because they're stronger. I agree. He's human, you're human. He's a guy, you're a girl. Okay? He's male, you're female. We're equal or should be equal or should be considered equal. Why should he carry all the baggage? So he's uh, up to his chin with luggage and you're just with your handbag strolling around the airport, let's say. No, both of us will carry the baggage. Of course, he's stronger than I am by nature, I mean, but that doesn't mean that I will leave all of the weight up to him. This is infuriating. I agree. Men, I'm oh, with you on yeah. this. When you have a closet full of clothes and you say, I don't have anything to wear. Right again, men. Yes, we do that. I do that. I don't know why, but I do. No, I actually, I do know why. Because they won't fit me. I've gained weight and uh, almost nothing fits me. They can obviously see your clothes see that you have a bunch of clothes so why do we claim that we don't have any clothes when we actually do have clothes and usually a lot of them so i'll give this one to oh, men yeah. <laughs> caring more about a guy's wealth than a guy's character boy oh boy the ugly truth they want to find a rich man to support them to pay for everything take advantage of him. A lot of women, unfortunately, look for their prince charming. And even if he's not charming, it's enough that he be a prince. I mean that he be rich. So this is true. I think this is annoying too. In the beginning, girls go above and beyond to impress a guy. Uh, our nails are done, eyebrows on point. We always smell delicious and wear sexy nighty to bed. This is a, obviously a common coming from a woman. Yes, it is something that we do, but it's, it's something that men do as well. I mean that when you get into a relationship, you seem to forget or you seem to neglect that uh, ongoing, let's say, need and uh, want to look uh, nice, to smell very nice. We get used to each other. So we develop a bond other than the erotic one. And so we feel more comfortable towards each other. The key here is that we don't get too carried away either on one side or the other. It would be good to take care of ourselves, for ourselves primarily, and then of course for our partner. It's human nature. We try to impress somebody, but when we get into a relationship, you know, we, things calm, calm down. Uh, we, I think that that is when we become more ourselves, we, we feel more comfortable. So it's something that just happens. We just have to keep track of it. 
standing us up on a date. Yes, I give you oh, that. Yeah. You are right. It's not acceptable. No, no, no. We shouldn't stand people up. No, we shouldn't. Whether you're a guy, whether you're a girl, okay? We shouldn't. When we make an appointment, we should keep our appointment. That's why it is an appointment and not something casual. Because if I'm gonna be standing there waiting for you to come, okay, I have better things to do with my time than to wait for you. Okay? This is not something that only women do, but maybe something that women do more often. Please consider subscribing and liking and uh, I'll uh, catch you really soon.